Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is Tom and in today's video we're going to be breaking down the details we know so far about the brand new Warzone 2 uh, Almazra map. This is going to be a Warzone map for the history books, no doubt. It is going to contain some of our fan favourite POIs from Call of Duty's in years gone by things like the terminal map things like observatory high rise um favela there is shipment there's so many maps that have been in past call of duty games that are going to make their sort of reimagined sort of return to the series how shipment, for example, is on a boat in the middle of the ocean with like a bridge connecting it to the bottom of the map. The developers also talked about turning these POIs from the Warzone map into their own sort of 6v6 or even ground war maps, which I do think is going to happen. They're going to take the content from the Warzone game itself and all the map itself and they'll break it down to the fan favourite parts and probably divvy them up between 6v6 and ground war maps like they said. POIs is their number one priority. They looked into the design and the layout of a city and how a city functions with its navigation to make uh, navigating the comms much simpler and more effective. So there's far more emphasis now on things like directions in game so signs with names of places landmarks and sort of guides around the city itself there are far more ways for you to interact with your team and call out the spots that you want to go to because they know that it's going to be a very active place um it's going to be a very very big launch november 16th november 17th when it, when it kind of kicks off with Season 1 for multiplayer and also the Warzone update itself. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big update because um, obviously the sheer size of the map. They've also encumbered some new mechanics into the game. Like you can now swim in Warzone and you can also do the hanging mechanic. Where you hang off and mantle off walls and building ledges and things like that. So movement's going to be very different. The mechanic of being able to swim. They do explain in the dev video that there is underwater areas such as caves and tunnels and there's underground areas that may sometimes be accessed by those waterways so there is a huge river also that marines its way through the map itself connecting you to the main body of the ocean all the way up through the thing so kind of similar to sort of how PUBG would operate where it was like the big island map and all the waterways kind of like that in the sense of the boats there's going to be obviously the mechanic of just swimming so it's going to make that final zone very interesting if a few final zones end up being around sort of a water area where they'll be like able to swim underwater and hide and sort of counter maneuver and flank your enemy i'm sure that'll be very interesting the city seems massive and dense buildings are all enterable um there's very little that's not there for show it's just all practical things like the airport the train station the underground the waterways the caves everything like that there's lots of elements where you're going to be exploring there's obviously like i say old maps that you're going to see sort of reimagined how rust is kind of covered in sand you can kind of see that in ground wall but you can kind of see the sort of main bit of it the iconic bit sticking out through the sand terminals come back in a bit more of a reimagined way and uh, there's also going to be a big emphasis on the DMZ mode and the stronghold uh, sort of events that are happening. So within Warzone and the DMZ mode, they are two separate modes as far as I'm aware. And within Warzone and sort of the DMZ, there's going to be this new revamped AI system where there's going to be very difficult AI guarding places of interest that are going to have very good loot to extract with and obviously using the Warzone. So strongholds and powerful ai with good loot is uh, going to be implemented to some pois and that'll be notified on your map and it's sort of a way of chancing the player whether the player wants to go after that loot and then obviously risk of getting people over to them because of the gunfight and battling with the ai 
risk death for the gulag and the gulag is now duo gulag so there's two people in there now so it's a 2v2 and uh, at random moments some keys can spawn in and you've got to pick up the key and get out of the of the gulag and things like that so it, it is a new imagining of warzone a lot of the mainstream content creators and the mainstream streamers are uh, very negative towards Warzone 2 at the moment because their sort of sweaty movements aren't in the game anymore. Their sort of scummy mechanics aren't there anymore. And um, a lot of the pros are getting quite angry that a lot of casual sort of fans have now got into playing Call of Duty more this year. It has sold more units than ever before. It is monumentally big. It's had one of its biggest opening weekends ever. And since a week after update, it's come out with so many sales. It's been, whether you personally enjoy the game or not, record-wise, which is all the company cares about, record-wise, it has broken gold with this with this opening week. And people have come back to the series from years gone by. People who didn't even like Modern Warfare 2019 have come back to this game and enjoyed it more. So, um, yeah, it, it's big. And it's going to have a lot of people involved in it. And it's going to have a lot of fans coming back interested. Uh, so Warzone 2 is going to feel a lot different. Will it be like Verdansk? In my opinion, I never really got into Verdansk. Even though I loved how hyped Warzone was over the lockdowns. And how helpful it was to a lot of gamers' mental healths. And uh, a lot of us playing together and getting those first sort of uh, victories. And uh, wins in Warzone and stuff like that. And oh, except from that, there's going to be... I think a whole new angle of it this year round where it's going to be bigger and better with the more you can do already. The swimming and the boats. I like that sort of style of gameplay. I think that's going to be interesting. The old classic maps coming back. I never really got into Verdansk's map itself. I didn't really like its POIs. I much preferred the smaller war zone maps like Rebirth and... What was the other one? Fortune Keep. I think those two. I like those two the best. No one liked Caldera. Caldera wasn't very good, but Verdansk was okay. I like the Halloween version of Verdansk more than the normal version, but this Warzone is going to be, like I say, it's attached to the Modern Warfare 2, and that's got a two-year lifespan with every Call of Duty studio working collaboratively together upon it. So we're going to have a very long lifespan for Warzone 2.0. So hopefully that means a lot more fixes, a lot more patches, a lot less bugs and glitches. I'm sure in the early days and weeks of Warzone 2, there are going to be a few minor problems. But I'm sure we can overlook that as a mature community of video gamers. I'm sure we can overlook it. But I'm really excited for Warzone 2. At the moment, I'm camo grinding the hell out of Modern Warfare 2. Because I want to get Orion ready for when Warzone drops. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I'm having some crashes recently on my Xbox. And I don't know why. I'm trying to see if it happens to anyone else. Let me know down below if you've had any technical issues with your Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. But I'm trying my best. I've got a few guides out for how to get the best skins before they're gone. And how to um, level up gold on riot shields. And hard to get weapons. And how to level up your weapons fast. And loads of tutorials. And I'll do loads of tutorials for Warzone 2 as well uh, so if you are a fan of games and video game content and you're especially a call of duty fan please do consider hitting that subscribe button as that little click can make my life absolutely sensationally different if if half the people who watch these videos hit that subscribe button oh my god it would be insane you guys don't understand the power you hold by pressing that little button and dinging the bell you don't know how much difference it can impact the creator. And I don't think a lot of the big creators say it enough. So thank you if you did. And uh, if you haven't yet, please do consider it. Because like I say, that is insanely helpful for me making content moving forwards. Um, on top of that, like I say, Warzone's going to come out November 16th, November 17th. Kind of depends on where you are. And uh, I'm going to be playing it day one, live streaming it day one, doing the tutorial since day one. I'm going to be covering any operator skins we get in Season 1 and any maps that we get and weapons we get. I'm sure we will get a juicy update because we've uh, kind of we kind of got a bit stripped of content. Some people didn't like the fact that there's only 51 weapons in. I don't think a lot of people like the maps. There are kind of lots of the maps are quite mid. They're not very exciting. They're not very interesting. So a, a lot of us are waiting desperately for some better maps to come out, some classic maps. And uh, everyone wants the intervention sniper rifles, so uh, hurry up and give it to us, Call of Duty, please. Please, thank you. So, uh, yeah, anyway, 
like I said, don't want to ramble on too much, but I'm very excited for Warzone 2. Let me know how hyped you are down below, and let me know if it's something that is interesting you. And is it going to be something you're going to play day one? Is it something that you're going to kind of feel it out and wait for the bugs to kind of be fixed? You you tell me your strategy for Warzone 2. Let me know what loadouts you're going to be using. Let me know what POIs you're going to be dropping at. Personally, I'm going to go back and revisit Terminal and Rust because they were my icons back in the day. I do love those maps. I'm going to be exploring underwater. You best believe if there's like a sort of Megalodon glitch or Megalodon Easter egg or sort of underwater mystery. I'm going to be trying to crack that as soon as possible because I anything to do with underwater. Love it. Love it. So I'm going to be exploring all the underwater bits, all the little caves and tunnels and everything. I'm going to be exploring this map like crazy. And I want to get my hands on it day one and stream it as best as I can. And get, like I say, as many tutorials out as, as I can to help anyone who's new or old to the series find a tip or a trick that's going to improve their gameplay. That's the idea of why I do what I do. And I love gaming and I love making content for games that I love. And this game I'm absolutely infatuated with at the moment. I'm going to take a little break for God of War, but then I'm going to be back for Warzone. So uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Like I say, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now. Thank you very much for watching and peace. Switch up all the rules And imagine a utopia What does perfect even mean?